Hey guys, welcome to this design zone tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering how to make this NCAA cover. Um, choosing the NCAA this time, I made a Madden cover before and the response was pretty good. Um, in this one I'm going to be going through it pretty quick since I've already explained most of it. Um, I'm going to go into detail on how to add the paint a little easier and to make it look better. and um, I'm going to go through some of the other stuff quick, like I said. Um, I'm going to be starting out with uh, this NCAA template, which I will show you where it's at in the sidebar. There'll be a link. Um, Alright, and here I'm going to... This is what you're going to see when you start out with. There's going to be this uh, layer here that says player goes here. You can delete that or you can just turn it off by hitting the I and that'll get rid of that and I'm gonna make this template using three photos that I got off of Google I've got this Herbie Husker photo which I'm gonna put right here in this mask I've got the Bo Pelini which I'm gonna use for the cover obviously because Bo's a god and then I'm gonna use this Nebraska logo for the middle of the template right here where the EA logo usually would go and I'm just gonna go through this pretty quick hopefully I can get this done in under 10 minutes so um, I'm gonna start off with the mask so what I'm gonna do is drag this photo over on top of here the mask hold down shift and resize it and I want Herbie Husker to uh, be in this photo so that looks good come over here apply the transformation right click the layer create clipping mask and I'm gonna drag Herbie Husker just above the stadium mask and then I'm going to right click and create clipping mask and from there I can get a better view on uh, how I need to move them and that looks pretty good there apply the transformation right click go into the blending options and add a cover overlay gradient overlay change the color to let's see go with a red tint and kinda change the uh, there we go and then blend mode I'm gonna go to color that'll give it a little red tint to it and I like that just the way it is just kinda move it that looks good alrighty now I'm going to minimize that and go into my Bo Pelini picture here and I'm gonna make it so it fits on the screen so I can cut Bo out I'll go up here to the magnetic lasso tool just like I did in the Madden cover and just start chopping him out see how fast you can do it here and how easy these are to make once you start making a few of them it's alright if it's not perfect you can uh, always edit everything I'm just kind of going through so I can show you guys how to do things a little smoother. And once you've got it, click, right click, layer via cut. Come over here to the background, delete. And another thing you guys okay and when you've got your player or your coach in my case cut out the way you want you can go ahead drag them over into your template and I need to do a little bit of resizing here hold shift and drag just to kind of expand him and get him out of the way of Herbie so we can still see Herbie in the background maybe rotate it Move them over just a bit to center them. And don't forget to come over here 
you've got them. Actually, that's a little bit too much. Okay, once you've got them where you want them, come up here, click, and apply the transformation. And voila. Now, we are going to put the N Nebraska logo right here. So, find your uh, logo and here's my logo drag it over size it make sure it's got a white background or else you're gonna have to do a little cutter color editing makes it a lot easier if you just make sure it's white and then once it's resized you can move around and center it that's pretty good it's nice and centered right there and I'm gonna do a little bit of little effect to Bo Pelini so he fits the cover more uh, so it makes it more of an even tone I'm gonna go to Bo's layer here image adjustments and I'm gonna boost the contrast up really high maybe the brightness just a tad bit and now we're gonna add some paint to do this, we're going to want to create a new layer, a separate layer for just the paint. Go to Layer, New, Layer, and just hit OK. And this right here, Layer 4, will be your paint layer. We'll put Paint. OK, now come over here to your Paintbrush tool, and I explained in the other tutorial. Um, the Madden tutorial, um, these paint brushes you'll need, and what you've got here, I've got a bunch of brushes here. You'll need to download these separately. You can download them for free. Just go to Google, type in um, Photoshop paint splatter brushes, and you'll you can just download them for free. Um, I've got a few here that I use, and what you want to do is find one with, let's see here, I like these ones here better. What you want to do is find one where you can use the edges. Such as, this one's a good one. Um, make it a little smaller here. And we'll pick a color. Let's pick a red here. You want to make sure your paint layer is underneath your player layer. And just click and add some paint. And you can see you don't want too much paint or else it's not going to fit the cover. So just kind of add in paint wherever you want it. You can, I like to separate like three or four different colors make it look cool and then maybe a little bit of black that's pretty cool looking and then you don't want this paint to stand out too much so you come to your paint layer go to blending options and turn the opacity down just a bit and that's how I make my covers um, obviously you can spend a little more time on the paint um, another thing I like to do go to uh, Bo Pelini's layer and there's all these different filters and things you can do I forget which one I use the most there's all this different cool stuff you can add and then uh, if you don't like it, you can always get rid of it. This is a cool one. You can uh, adjust it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned and took some stuff from it. Um, this is Design Zone Tutorials, and come back and visit. Subscribe. We'll see you later.